It's nearly the end of the year, but there's still loads more board games that we want to get to the table over the Christmas period. Here's our list of 10 that we are prioritising over this festive period. Hi, I'm Julian, this is Libby, and together we are Box Meeples. Yes, so we're approaching the beginning of 2024, the end of 2023. And what a year of board game playing it's been. It has, we've played loads. I mean, we're not going to run into stats or anything now. We're too excited to be ready for the break, for Christmas, for New Year, and for all the games that we need to make time to get to the table over this time when we're not working so much. Yeah, well, around right about this time, we tend to do our lists of our favourite games that will be coming up, our top 50. And, and recently we talked about the games that we're most excited about that came out in 2023. And it mm. kind of dawned on us that, well, there's lots of games we haven't yet played or we wanted to play and we haven't done. So we've gone over the whole shelves and we've picked five each. These are five games that we promised each other we're going to table. So fingers crossed. Now, while doing our favourite games of 2023, I remembered how much I love Distilled. And it's been a bit of a time since we played it, actually. Mm -hmm. Now, the new year, the festive time, Christmas. We can't be the only ones who have a little bit of a tipple at this time of year. <laughs> and uh, this is a game all about distilling alcoholic drinks. So what better time than to play this game and to remind myself about why I loved it so much at the beginning of the year when I got hold of it and then throughout the year and why I should have shelved it for as long as I have. Yeah, it's definitely a good one. So it's cold, it's, it's, it's winter outside. Some days you think, oh gosh, it's close to snow. And... So I feel like we need to play the wintry style games at this time of year. And it's been a minute since we have got Endless Winter to the table. It's a game that I really enjoy. It's got that kind of snowy aesthetic. The artwork looks really great on it. You're kind of doing some set collecting, doing some worker placement. You've got that chief worker mm -hmm. who's super cool. Um, and the last time we played it, we added in the dogs. Yep. We've since got a dog. So. <laughs> why not get that one to the table right and you've got a super fancy version so you've got the mm -hmm. play map we've got all the miniatures so yeah it's it's a really great game when we played it fantastic worker placement game so yeah i'm looking forward to playing that again endless winter in winter is the way forward oh well, timing so talking about snow and dogs i've recently got the fox experiment from elizabeth hargraves and jeff fraser and uh we have a dog that looks like a fox i was gonna say a fox's dogs and, <laughs> and um yeah it's snowy i can tell this from the box but that's as far as we've got so far with it uh we've been both been very busy at work so i'm gonna lay that as our excuse but we haven't even punched this game and i've been really looking forward to it and and, and kind of counting down with the updates when it's actually going to arrive so this is a game we need to get to the table because i've heard nothing but great things about the fox experiment yeah i think that's probably going to be one of the first ones that that does make it to a table and get itself punched out and look at all that foxy goodness and uh the word i've hearing so far better than wingspan so yeah keen to find out mm. So next up on my list, I'm going from the classic snowy winter vibes to the classic sat by the log fire watching some TV. Now, not necessarily Christmas movies, but I think there's quite some classics that come out of this time of mm -hmm. year. You've got the kind of the favourites, the IPs like Harry Potter, Back to the Future, Indiana Jones, like all those classic films get rerun on the telly but also the period dramas. Mm -hmm. I feel like I get some winter vibes yeah. with the period dramas. So that makes me want to get obsession back to the table so we can talk about, oh, Mr. Darcy, aren't you looking <laughs> so dashing today? Um, and it, yeah, we've got loads of the different families that we can play around with. I think it's been a while. We have played it a few times on BGA as well as playing it in person this year, but it's probably been a couple of months since we got it to the table. So I feel like, Christmas period drama vibes. This is the perfect yeah. time. I think the BBC used to run a lot of kind of period dramas in mm -hmm. the run up to Christmas as a special kind of spread out serial. Oh, I guarantee you that you can find Pride and Prejudice somewhere over Christmas, and there'll be Colin Firth as Mark Darcy coming out of that pond in his white, white 
shirt, ruffly shirt. Wasn't wasn't winter then though. It wasn't winter, no. But I'm sure they have excellent winter ball styling. And um, Obsession's actually a surprisingly simple game to teach. And it's yeah. got a theme that I know so many of our families would, would go, oh, that's exciting. Mm. And, and and it's relatively easy to get to the table as well. With yeah. the, the little trays, you just hand out the families. So yeah, mm-hmm. it's got a great pick. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and have a game of balls. <laughs> I'm going to stick with the snow. Uh, mm-hmm. For my next one, I've gone for Klondike Rush, which is a game I never heard of until I saw it on the shelf at the Bring and Buy this year's UK Games Expo. Uh, it's a Red Raven game by Ryan Lockett. And that, that's what, that's and, what piqued your interest. Yeah, I, I saw that and was like, well, I'll have a bit of that. Also, I've got a bit of an interest in the, the Klondike region mm-hmm. for work-related things. So, that yeah, that, that combination intrigued me. A lot of snow on the box. There is. A lot of snow. I think there's a Yeti involved. Oh, so excellent. what better time than to play it when it's deep midwinter? No wonder we haven't played it since getting it in June. No, it'd be silly to we play in the summer. We were saving it for winter. It's a winter so, game. Clearly exactly. a winter game. Know nothing about it. Next time I talk about it, hopefully I'll know more than I do mm, right now, which yeah. is, you know, it's got a pretty box and it's by Ryan Lockett. Yeah, that, that's about the amount that I know about mm. it. Excellent. So if you're going with snow, I'm coming back around to snow again then, might as well. Um, Back in sort of, just before Essen, must have been late September time, we played Revive for the first time, which I'd had since the Essen previous, Mm -hmm. been sat there on the shelf, it's right there. Um, And we managed to play it with some friends, and it's a fantastic game, and it does look like a little bit cold and icy. Does it look? I've always thought there was snow on the box, so, so Um, sort of wintry um, and uh, again it was quite featured quite a lot at Essen again this year because they've got a new expansion for it I think it's like Call to the Deep or something it's got this sort of squiddy thing on the front it's great um, and I've just been dying to play it again since we played it that first time we haven't played it at two um, I think it's like a big game so we'll have time together the two of us to just really crunch that one out yeah. so um it i like all of the different mechanisms that were going on and the cards moving over and really lovely kind of, production well those kind of yeah those different boards that you've got the switches on and mm-hmm. you're moving around the tracks on those yeah and the the more and more you get into the game the more and more you're able to do and i really like it when you're sort of building an engine in that kind of way to sort of try and make everything work and i really like it when i manage to sort of block off your things and yeah i was going to say this time don't steal good. my stuff yeah, I did. Uh, don't do that again. <laughs> what is my favourite game that involves cute critters? Not rude. Oh, <laughs> yes. That, that's the answer. Uh, Not no, rude. No. Everdale. Yes, yes. Uh, and Everdale was a lovely, lovely game, lovely production values. We talked about it so much. Now, I really associate Sparquest. Mm-hmm. with winter because oh, it's yeah. the winter themed section They're obviously all based on different seasons the bit at the bottom winter yeah i mean it goes through the seasons in spire crest mm-hmm. but as a whole it looks very wintry it's so I'll, wintry. I'll give you that one even though like the cards you have all four seasons in them and they affect what you can do mm-hmm. don't they yeah they've got your little bunny adventurer trekking through mm-hmm. the snow um and We've we've got the complete edition. Uh, every time I play Everdale, it's one of those games. Where I was like, oh, I love this game. Why don't we play it more? Um, and it's you know quite quick to table. Uh, we haven't actually played of all the expansions yet. We've still got the yeah. latest expansion to play, and I'm hoping the combination of Sparquest that we know really well that doesn't add too much to the game for us because we're so familiar with that. That's the expansion we know best. With with the new station one, the little mm-hmm. train bit would be a combination that will be make the game fresh and interesting for us but still familiar and, and comfortable to play on a cold winter's night <laughs> ideally when it's snowing and there's little scurrying animals outside maybe a bunny okay. going on an adventure you might be stretching a little bit at the end then, i can live the dream yeah um i mean last time we did play in the summer and it was with the pearl crest and the spire crest so this makes more sense mm. the sort of that train is practically the Polar Express. More or less, yep. Yeah. With, with hedgehogs riding on it. Christmas vibes. Another game that we got in the last few months and have only actually managed to get play the once mm-hmm. is Expeditions. 
Um, we have that nice ironclad edition where they have those great mechs in it. Um, and we love size. It's in both of our top fives. I mean, mm -hmm. I assume it'd probably be somewhere around the top ten for both of us. Yeah. I haven't finished my list, so who knows? It's a big fake bet. We, we love size, but we buy um, a lot. Yeah, I mean, and then that's one that I would love to table, but I think that we should prioritise expeditions because we haven't played it as much, and I'd really like to get into grips with that. I mean, I'd be fully open for a size universe evening where we play expeditions and then we play size. Mm -hmm. We'll just see see how we go. <laughs> so don't, let's not make two things too difficult for us. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, just seeing how differently that works. We've only played it at four, so again, seeing you know how it plays. How it plays out too. Mm -hmm. And interesting, shame you didn't pick Scythe, because fun fact for you, on the board for Scythe, Hidden away is a Father Christmas, a Santa Claus. So, uh, yeah, see if you can find him next time you're playing Scythe, which makes it Christmassy, Christmas game. Yeah, we'll have to check all the tiles for Expedition. Might then. be. You never know. Three, two, one. Happy New Year! <laughs> what do we do at New Year? Drink, drink champagne. Drink champagne. And what game has got a lot of champagne in? Viticulture. Viticulture. Now, one of the favourite things we've done together mm -hmm. was going through a whole campaign. We did Sleeping Gods in um, January. Might be no, it was last year. Mm -hmm. And um, I really loved that experience of having an evening each uh, every day, more or less, where we did a little bit of the campaign. And I'd love to do another campaign like that. And we've had Viticulture since my birthday, Viticulture World, um, which has got a campaign. It's a cooperative campaign. And a cooperative campaign means I'm not going to lose because we're working together <laughs> so yeah i'm looking forward to opening that out and and just playing i really love viticulture it's one of my favorite worker placement games i've loved it for a very long time in fact and we have the super pimped out version of it you've got the lovely um buildings for it oh um, yes i got you buildings as a present and then we previously had got little wine glasses for it so yeah um, so we have loads of fun stuff for it what I mean, it's a little bit of a shame that there's not a, like a Christmas mould wine expansion, isn't it? Because well, we that would top it off. We even got the wine and cheese expansion. Obviously, we won't be using all of these with Viticulture World, but I'm just keen to to, to, to play it through because I know I, how much I enjoy Viticulture and having a a reason to keep tabling Viticulture again mm -hmm. and again and again and seeing how that campaign plays out is going to be really exciting for me. Yeah, because we played it loads in sort of like the the base version um for for years mm -hmm. and then it's only really probably this year that we had the the, the tuscany, tuscany yeah. board there um which has sort of changed it up in a great way um probably wouldn't play without that without no, no. a specific reason to not have it in um and getting that to the table more often and adding in like the world as you said and all of that kind of other bits and bobs um, yeah, we have got a nice big wine box for it we, now, so we, we should get it out more often. So last up for me will be no surprise to anyone who knows the channel well. Um, you've probably heard our sort of Christmas tradition that we have, which is to play Rebellion, uh, usually on Boxing Day. Um, we might have to tweak the days around mm -hmm. slightly this year. Um, but certainly we'd like to play it, you know, very close to Christmas to yeah. sort of, um, sort of reenact our second date where I forced Julian to play Rebellion because he told me he was super into board games. Turns out he meant party games. I thought he was a heavy Euro, Euroer, even. <laughs> And um, panic ensued on yours. Yeah, but half, <laughs> and I was completely unaware. It's it's not a it's not a, a a light game at all. It's a heavy game. It's got two rule books. Two rule books yeah. It's got a massive box. I had a very small table in the flat I was living at the time. It was it, quite wibbly wobbly. It didn't fit yeah. on there, so I had to get extra <laughs> chairs. I'd never seen anything like this game before in my life, and I knew how much I liked you, and I I wanted to impress you. So I tried to play down how daunted I was, but I don't. Yeah. Um, you've done your research watching YouTube right. channels to find out how to play. I did my best, yeah. yeah. You did. Um, yeah, it was, and we, like you said, we played it every year since around this time. Yeah, so and we try to play it a few other times during the year as well, so we keep up with rules, and it, I mean, it's just fun anyway. Um, but I feel like, A, doing the sort of, at the anniversary of the first time we played it together is fun, 
but also as I was saying about obsession and things I feel like this is the time of year for the classics to come out the classic movies the Star Wars is that are on back to back the Lord of the Rings that's on back to back on channels and this one channels those vibes as well it's a fantastic two player game it's really thematic you feel like you're in the movies when you're playing this game um, and I can't remember, we always swap who's Rebels yeah, and I, who's Imperial. I think so... I'm Rebels this time. Oh, I'm going to get so. my ships out. Yeah. and uh, All of the ships. Is it one of these games that can be really quick and you spend longer setting it up? Or, no. Or uh, it can be a whole evening of glorious, fantastic board gaming at its best. Mm -hmm. So I'm, yeah. I'm really looking It's often it. pretty close yeah. when we play. Yeah. Like It's normally there's maybe a turn or so in it, swaying it either way. It's it's it only ever ends early if it's by chance where you decide to you know vaporize Kashyyyk and kill all the all the Wookies and it's like yeah. well that's that's where I just I did one one game I did go around and blow up three planets yeah I just happened to have the cards to be able to keep doing it and wasn't good for the Wookies yeah wasn't good for the Pelion either <laughs> probably worse for them it's great. <laughs> but yeah it's one of our favorites it's a holiday tradition for us so really looking forward to that so that is our list of 10 games that we're going to try our darndest to get to the yes. table over the christmas period well, we're, so. we're in a position where we're child free for a few days mm -hmm. uh we're not going anywhere for christmas we can just sit in and have a board game day just the two of us and hopefully yeah. we get through all of these Thank but you. are there any games that you always play at this time of year not necessarily christmassy games but you know just have a, a, a tradition maybe you always play just one with your family or you know maybe it's something yeah. like you associate monopoly with christmas eve and if you're doing that, there's other games you can play, so maybe move towards those. But it's interesting <laughs> to have these kind of traditions. Um, so, yeah, do let us know in the comments down below if that's what you do. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe. Yeah, uh, we're getting close to a big milestone subscriber number now. Uh, so, yes, please do subscribe to our channel. We put two videos up every single week, always about board games they are indeed and of course if you're looking to buy new board games we do encourage you to go to your friendly local game store for us here in the southeast of england we have chaos cards um and they have a fantastic website if you aren't that local um, which you can use our discount code which is in the description to get yourself a few pennies off at the checkout and that's gonna be valid till the end of january mm -hmm. so uh make sure you get in your uh, january bargains in there but as always, thanks so much for watching. Bye.